Hello and welcome to the medical assessment of an allergic reaction patient. Here we will evaluate your ability to interview a patient, assess and treat them accordingly. I want you to voice all interventions. You will have two EMT partners to assist you as needed. I may have to clarify some assessments as they arise. I will let you know. You may take this time to review the equipment before you now. Okay. Janzen, you are responding to a private residence for a 20s year old female experiencing an allergic reaction. She is just as you find her in the residence. Do you have any questions before we begin? No questions at this time. Uh, BSI, is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. The nature of illness is we got called here for an allergic reaction. Is this my only patient? It's your only patient. I'm going to go ahead and start an additional ALS uh, resource at this time uh, and it doesn't appear to need any spinal precautions. Um, how are you doing? My name is Jansen. Uh, what prompted the call today? Um, I think I'm having an allergic reaction. Uh, my general impression of the patient is that it's a 20-year-old female who is having an allergic reaction. Her mentation appears to be fine, and her chief complaint is an allergic reaction. Um, yeah, so her breathing appears to be uh, like she's having some trouble breathing. So I'm going to go ahead and assess her, her breathing. I'm going to take some lung sounds and check her respiratory rate. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Your lung sounds are wheezy in the upper field. Wheezy in the upper fields. And then what's your respiratory rate? 34. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and give her a nasal cannula at four liters per minute. Um, and then I'm going to check her pulse and her skin. Her pulse is 134 and regular, and her skin is red and blotchy. 34 regular, red and blotchy. Um, so I'm going to make the decision to uh, transport it this time. And then uh, what, what was the events leading up to this? I had a smoothie. Smoothie. Um, and that, does anything make it better or worse? It's getting worse. Um, and how does this relate to other times you may have experienced this? This is as bad as it's ever gotten. And is it kind of staying in your mouth or is it spreading down? It's spreading down my throat. Right. Um, and has it been getting uh, better or worse over time? It's getting worse. Um, are you allergic to anything? Peanuts. Allergic to peanuts. Um, are you on any medications? No, just my EpiPen. And do you have any uh, past medical history? No, just the allergies. And when was the last time you ate something? Uh, right before we called. Um, at this time, I'm, I'm going to do my secondary assessment. Um, I'm worried about her respiratory system. So I'm going to take her vitals at this time, starting with the blood pressure. field impression of the patient is that she's in anaphylactic shock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and administer 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine via auto injector. And I'll be reassessing every five minutes until ALS arrives. ALS backup has arrived. Um, so here we have a 20 something year old female patient, respiratory rate of 34, a pulse rate of 134 with red and blotchy skin. Um, her blood pressure was 88 over 46 and she's allergic to peanuts. Uh, she recently had a smoothie, didn't, was not aware that they had peanuts in it. She was having a lot of trouble breathing um, and it was spreading into her, uh, her throat. So we've administered a nasal cannula, four liters per minute oxygen, and 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine via auto-injector. 
Is there anything else you'd like to do at this time? Uh, no.